Okay, so <laughs> I have um, outside. It's been very active today. I have some children playing outside right now, and it's really sweet to hear them playing. So if you hear that, just love it and accept it, please. It's really sweet when people are having a good time and that energy that kind of permeates from, from you know, the resounding joy. All right, so we do have the Queen of Cups in reverse and then the Page of Cups in the upright. So having the Queen of Cups reverse, somebody's manipulating you. Someone is um, feeling uh, emotionally disconnected from themselves and then putting it on you to fix it. All right, so whenever we have this kind of energy, it's a water sign most likely. So it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But they're just, they, they're looking to you to save them. And it doesn't have to be a water sign. It can be somebody who's just exhibiting that kind of energy. But they want you to save them. And so that's also probably why the Ace of Cups kind of showed up in reverse, is that they're looking to start a relationship with you that is not feasible because it's asking for you to uh, lower your standards, lower your boundaries, and um, save them. And I really feel that with, like, the Five of Swords here. And... Um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles as well. So it's like, gosh, you know, I really thought that this person was going to have a really great future. And I thought I was going to be part of that future. But in truth, you know, it's like I'm sick of the fighting. I'm sick of what's happening. And I realize that I have other options. You know, I have other options to come in. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to fight for those options. I'm going to have to fight for my future. Okay, and so how I got there with this is with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's like, gosh, I really had hoped that it would end up a different way. But it didn't. Five of Swords reverse. It didn't. And I'm sick of fighting and I'm sick of dealing with that person. Queen of Cups. And I need to focus on the other choices I have. Eight of Staffs. Five of Staffs is like, fight for fight for you. Fight for yourself, okay, Aquarius? Fight for what you need. Because we have this really sweet energy, Page of Cups, and some of you need to fight because you have a child and because you have to keep your child safe. And so keep that in mind, because with the Page of Cups, that energy is very childlike, very sweet, unconditional, loving. So it could be a new relationship coming in that's so unconditional and sweet that you're like, what are you, like a 12-year-old? Because you're... You, you feel like that, you know, you feel like that puppy love. Having this page of cups show up right after the five of staffs is like, you're going to have to fight for this relationship. And you might even have to, um, you know, give some things up. Seven of cups is like you're, you're building, you're growing, you're going to the future in a great way, but it's like not without sacrifice. Okay, it's not without, okay, um... To get there, what do I have to let go like of my pack? I mean, look at this beautiful card. It's like the cups are below, but you can't carry all of them up to the kingdom. You're going to have to leave some behind. And to having the high priestess here, Aquarius, I really feel like you're going to make the... Of course, you're, you have choices, but you're going to make the right decision. You know, High Priestess is going in and out of energy. It's um, going in and out of emotion, recognizing that your anger, your happiness, your bliss will come and go with the tides. High Priestess is ruled by the moon, which is a cancer energy. So you're going to feel at home with going in and out of these emotions, unlike possibly before where all of the emotions of the Queen and Cup, Queen of Cup, got to you and you're like what the hell is wrong with you get your together you know like level out <laughs> and the high priestess is like no they're not gonna level out you just need to go with it you need to flow with that emotion and know that that's not yours that's theirs that is their cross to bear and you need to let that go all right and the devil reverses saying that you're going to let it go. This might have been an obsession to you, like trying to figure out this queen of cups, trying to figure out a certain relationship. And it could be in work too, like a coworker that you work with. But you have been obsessing over it because it's just been picking and gnawing at you and like forcing you to make decisions that you don't agree with. And now you're starting to let that go. You're starting to let go of that obsessive part of it, that part that's holding you 
back. Now with the hero font in reverse, this, this card is a tough one when it's in reverse because it can mean that you are being um, excluded. It can mean that you're not finding um, comfort in your, your, your community, in your church, in, um, you know, the, the collective. You know, Aquarius, you may feel like you have to go this alone. Like the Hierophant is like, well, not everyone has your back on this, okay? And some people may disagree with you. And, and so with this here, the Queen of Cups too in reverse. So some of you guys could be getting a divorce. And I, I, I feel like I might be too bold to say this, um, be, but I'm going to say it anyways. Um, I feel like a lot of Catholics may like be feeling like they want to get a divorce and, and it's really hard on them with, with, um, with their devout faith. And it's not just Catholics, but I just got this feeling of being very devoted to your religion, being very devoted to what you believe. And I think that's such a beautiful quality because, you know, it has, you have power in faith, you have power in belief. But because of that faith and because of that belief, it may be really hard for you to divorce from a person and let somebody go because you feel like as part of your faith, you cannot do that. But I really feel like there is a way for you to let go of this energy and to continually build your, your faith. And the Hierophant in reverse is just like they might not agree with you, but it's just one moment in time, you know? It's just one moment in time. So give this time. You are a high priestess in this, in this reading. You can go in and out of this moment and realize that your belief and your faith is stronger and, and bigger than just a few people. So let's call in the Mother Moon deck for some added guidance. Prajapati, patience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me turn it so you can see it. And I will pull the book so that I can read a little bit about Prajapati. If patience is a card that life is dealing you at this moment, downshift and hold steady. Pajapati, stepmother to the Buddha, learned this lesson all too well. Again and again, she asked her son if she might join him and his monks in a life committed to enlightenment. Though she had suckled him and wiped his nose, he refused her request. But instead of reacting imprudently, Pajapati followed the Buddha 150 miles on foot with hundreds of aspiring nuns. Finally, her patience paid off. The Buddha relented, and Pajapati earned the right for women to seek enlightenment. Okay, so stay patient in yourself, okay, and in your road to your own personal enlightenment. And so for those with very strong faith in something, and you know what, atheists still believe, still believe in life. Um, my closest friends are atheists, you know, and have always led a life that is so pure and so honest with no strings attached. It's like they're just living to be part of life. And that is a belief, you know. So with Bajapati saying, be patient in yourself, be patient in your path, be patient within your, your, your faith, okay? That there is somebody here that you do need to let go of. And it will happen, but you have to still stay strong within yourself, high priestess energy. You have to stay strong for the Page of Cups. You know, this, this sweet little innocent energy, you have to protect that. And so by, by letting go of these ideas, you know, that haven't reflected as truth in your life, letting go of this, well, I thought that this relationship really would have worked. This, this job would have panned out and it didn't. It's okay. You have other choices. You have other ways of getting up your mountain. Seven of Cups, getting up your mountain and being okay so this queen of chalices is bringing in ushering in the ace of swords this is a new beginning a new thought a new way of living a new way of thinking 
All right, so a new way of living only comes when your mind actually expands and allows it to actually come into uh, a mental fruition. So this, I feel like this Queen of Chalices is, is a friend, is somebody who really cares about you, who says, well, what if you do, and they say something that just blows your mind, and you're like, I could never do it. Wait, what? But it gets the seed planted, and it, it, it grows. And the reason why I think it's a friend is because the, the card that popped out is the Six of Chalices. So it's um, camaraderie, it's, um, you know, childhood friends, it's people who you trusted, who have been there through thick and thin with you, who got your back. And so they're helping you usher in this new Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands. I mean, this is um, ignition, power, strength, creativity, sensuality, sexuality, and we have the Queen of Wands pop up in in relationship, in people in your life. So I do think by the end of the month, you're going to meet a fire sign who really ignites something powerful in you, Aquarius. So that's a Leo, uh, um, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And it's a new beginning, and it's exciting, and it's interesting. And the Knight of Wands is here too. A lot of fire energy the end of November and so the night is coming in an abundance and all of these are leading to like the Empress for me you know the Empress card is in uh, is in work is in craft is in um, career so whatever you do in work and do it with beauty in mind you are so fertile and you are so creative in ideas and endeavors so do whatever you do don't slack with the beauty do not slack with like that je ne sais quoi you know with um the joie de vivre i don't know why french is like popping into my head right now but you know maybe because french is beautiful french is sensual and takes their time and enjoys food enjoys fabric enjoys art you know and uh, i mean lots of cultures do but, but you know that french feeling of just taking your time watching the people pass pass on um, in the cafe and um is is coming up for you aquarius okay and so these two people the queen of wands and the knight of wands who are coming up light that fire within you light it and i think one of them is a new uh is a new romantic relationship and um if you are already with somebody then it's the next level in that relationship so you're going to have a good ending for for November. That's exciting. Like you didn't get any of the fighting with your family cards <laughs> like so many of the other signs, Aquarius. So lucky you. <laughs> Be willing to forgive. Okay. All right, ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So the reason why these new beginnings are coming in is because at the beginning of the month, you did have some situations. I think it was um, the Queen of Cups possibly reversed. You had one reversal of somebody. And so you had to kind of let that go, let that situation go. And you're not alone. A lot of um, signs have had to do that. but now like that you have forgiven yourself and you've forgiven people in it. Um, and that's also could be why the Six of Chalice has popped up is um, to look to the past and forgive any situations uh, from the past. Because you're carrying it. By carrying it, you're creating a cancer within your emotions.